Hi, do you want to know how to create templates, triggers and actions for the WhatsApp integration in high level? And how to best utilize custom variables? Then come along. We are here in the sub account for which I have enabled WhatsApp. We go to settings on the bottom left and then we see WhatsApp. I have linked it with my Facebook business account and the number I purchased in high level and everything is ready to go. It was easily guided through this process, there wasn't much to know. Right here you can now click on templates and say create new template. The template name is the real test. For the category we can choose between utility and marketing. I'll take marketing and language is English. Then it starts here that you can enter a header like a title. This is a header and on the right side you immediately see what it will look like in reality. But I'll write here this is a header for add variable and now we come to the custom variables. Here you can say for example you want contact first name just like we know from custom fields or custom values and as an example we have Martin then we see here this is a header for Martin. Next comes the body text the main text this is the body text from and then we say here just to show it account name. Here we write an example so we can see it properly on the right Martin Delwing. Here it's then in the normal font as we know it from WhatsApp and at the bottom you even have the option to enter a footer, a bit fainter. This is a footer. Here you can see you have these three different font weights then stored there. Of course you don't have to use everything, it also says optional here and then we say create. Now we can for example go back and send WhatsApp messages directly under contacts. Here I am now for example on Martin Delwing and have already tested the whole thing with the German text. And here you can simply click on WhatsApp below and either enter something directly or use a template here below. You can easily select it here. For this video however we now want to go into automation. And here I have WhatsApp automation trigger. All through in this automation I show both, trigger and action. You can use WhatsApp as a trigger if you have written to a customer now or many customers and you say here the trigger is customer replied. So the customer has responded. Then you can write here below under filters, reply channel is WhatsApp. Now this automation automatically starts to run whenever someone replies to this number on your WhatsApp business account. Then I have here as an example add tag active WhatsApp user. Of course, as always in workflows, you can build endlessly much from it. Everything you want to have in here with if, else and so on. After that, I set a wait of 30 seconds so it doesn't appear instantly and seem fake. And then we can say send WhatsApp message. After these 30 seconds, a response will come and here we again have the option to choose between manual text or the real test for example what I just finished as a template and we could click save action like this. But we want to go to the manual text ones so I can show you here again that you also have the custom variables included. Hi contact first name as we know it from the other things. Hope you're fine and so on and so forth. Save action. And now the automation is finished. Click publish on the top right and save and then there's a direct response. As I just mentioned, there are endless possibilities, which is always great of course. You just have to think about how you want to build such automation. In any case, all the possibilities are now available and I have tested it. I'm really happy about it that everything works great because this is once again a real game changer. See you in the next video.